Hi, I am Ali Ahmed. In this video, I am really excited to do a deep dive analysis of vCenter Upgrade Phase 1, which is a pre-installed check phase. So let's get this started. So the upgrade process is start when we attach installation media on the machine uh, where vCenter server is installed. So we have attached that media. We are hitting install button. The installer uh, is preparing at this stage. So if I uh, go to the user stamp directory, I can see there are some files getting created. At this stage, uh, installer is initializing. Uh, that means installer is doing pre-checks on the Windows machine. Now you can see we have uh, vm install.log we have let me just pull out my pen okay so now we can see we have vm install.log we have vim vcs msi.log vc install.temp file is also getting created so if i hit next at this stage we can see the installer has pretty much completed uh, the pre-checks it's, it's because we can see there is file called vim vcs pre-check report 65 html uh, is created this is a file where the installer will go ahead and dump every information or every uh, checks which he has already done so at this stage i am accepting the terms of license agreement so let's see what is there in in the report file so if we see in the report file installer has already done so many checks uh, related to the operating system or related to the machine on which your vcenter server is running so we can see it is checking admin privileges it is checking if there is no reboot pending operating system check MSI check, TCP IP check, group policy check. So these are pretty much generic check uh, for the Windows machine or from operating system point of view. So as we can see, every test uh, was successful. So let me click next. And let's see what is there in VIM install.log at, at this stage. So if you open vim install.log uh, actually this log is being created by vcenter installer so you can see you are in pre-install check phase and system is uh, doing pretty much whatever he has actually you know summarized in in the summary report which we saw earlier so we can see it is checking fqd and if it it is checking uh, checking you know and the operating system and everything so uh, you can uh, see pretty much the same information which we saw earlier this is continuation of the same log we can see installer is again just checking uh, and here if you look at this stage installer has finished the you know check and installer has created the vim vcs pre-check report which we saw earlier so let's see what is there in vim vcs hyphen msi.log this log is being generated by windows installer so let me open the log you can see this log is also saying the same thing what we saw in vm install.log it is just a windows way of uh, you know saying the same thing uh, this is not that much descriptive but if you see return value one that means whatever installer was intended to do uh, that was successful so let's click next at this point you are giving uh, you know sso username and password and you can see installer is going into you know you know doing pre-upgrade check so that was generic windows check at this point, the installer is doing pre-upgrade check specific to, uh, you know, upgrade. So as you can see here also, we have another directory created, VCS upgrade directory. We will talk about this directory in later videos. 
So in this directory, you can see uh, at this point, installer is doing pre-upgrade checks and it is collecting requirement, actually doing uh, probing in, inside the Windows machine uh, related to the, uh, you know, vCenter components and collecting the, those information and dumping into VCS upgrade uh, folder. Uh, so if you want to look at what is there in this log you can see that uh, you know upgrade runner is uh, you know running some script against the specific component and collecting requirements which is uh, required for the upgrade to run so if we look at the log we can see uh, in vm uh, vim vcs uh, msi.log which is windows installer log we can see if it is pulling up some script to do the probing which we will see in next slide and it was successfully able to you know engage the script because we can see return value 1. The same thing is being logged there in vm install.log but that is kind of descriptive information. So let's go next. Now. At this, at this time, you can see in the log, it is going into uh, run pre-upgrade phase. So it is going to uh, collect the, uh, you know, or check, do the pre-checks for the upgrade. And you can see it is checking, uh, you know, uh, username or it, it is converting the uh, administrator at the rate vSphere.local in requirement, uh, required format. It is also uh, validating SSO credential that was successful. If SSO credential was not good, you could see here um, the that the same being logged. So, and it is also creating an input file in temp location, and it is actually go, um, getting all the information and uh, you know building uh, you know uh, a runner input.json file that will help upgrade uh, you know complete smoothly in a sequence way so let me just go next at this stage you can see uh, the same thing is being done it is just probing so many thing and it is creating a sim link here so that it can copy uh, you know the required information so it is creating symlink for this you know vcs 6838.temp that is not we really need to discuss but as you can see it is removing the same thing and it it is actually going and updating the upgrade runner dot input file it created symlink so that it could just go ahead and you know upgrade in a smooth way so at this point, it is just uh, deleting the same sim link. Now, it has almost completed the, you know, probing. Now, it is calculating and coming up on conclusion. Uh, you can see here, it is, you know, calculating the disk required for each and every com component. You can see it is just checking for the licensing at this uh, RBD what is the uh, you know how much estimated uh, space required so you can see here also uh, this is a vm syslog collector so for each and every component it is calculating the disk required for export and import and then it is also checking uh, whether the ports uh, which port each and every component is using so here you can see this is continuation of the same log. You can see it is checking FQDN. Then again it is making sure that the total you know export disk required for all the component is this and import re disk required for all the component is this. And it is also making sure that what are the port uh, that is already being used uh, for the component. You can see here it is being done and if we go next this is vim vcs uh, hyphen msi dot log the same thing is being done done here you can see that um, you know a step being completed but this is not descriptive log you can simply say uh, for something it is just login for for other thing it just saying that the you know value one and it was that means it was successful 
but this is pretty much the same thing which is uh, being done um, by the upgrade runner. So uh, if you uh, click next at this stage you can see uh, these are the default port which is required for, for new vCenter Server 6.5 to install to get installed uh, or um, install on this machine. So we will see, we, we will actually freshly install this and then import. So um, in next uh, slides we will you know explain how install phase comes and how import comes. So at this stage now uh, Windows uh, you know vCenter um, installer is making sure that what are the port that is being being already used by by the you know existing vCenter server and what are the port that it required for new vCenter server. <clears throat> the same thing is being logged in VIM VCS MSI dot log. So this is continuation of the same thing. You can see here it is making sure that this port is being used. Uh, already in use and it is saying good to go so if there is any port conflict uh, you might look at this uh, log and you will come to know that there is a conflict and if we look vim vcs msi dot log the same thing is being done in a different way so return value one means it was successful so if i click next At this stage, we know that it is giving you an opportunity to, you know, what kind of, you know, uh, data you want to uh, upgrade. So let's say in this, this stage, it is telling, do you really want to, you know, my export uh, config configuration data only or configuration events and tasks, uh, configuration events, tasks and performance metrics. So it has already done a probing which we saw that it our installer already know how much space required for each and every component so based on that it is it is giving you an estimate that if you choose configuration only then you need 0.1 gb if you choose uh, configuration events and task then you need 0.2 gb if you also want performance metric then again 0.2 gb data you require so a, 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 the estimate which I have it was just in my lab so you can see that this is very low space that is required but for you in your case there may be you know huge data that you might have to you know make decision what actually you want to migrate so at this stage installer is giving you an opportunity to to change the location if you want or it is just kind of summary that uh, installer is going to choose the default location so the default location for configuration is this for data is this for export uh, uh, location will be this you can change but um, we we recommend that you need to keep it simple and choose the default location to avoid any complexity so if i go next so at this time if we look at the log via vm install dot log we can see it is setting a parameter based on the probing system has done and based on the uh, you know option we have chosen so it is setting that how much export disk you required to go ahead and do your uh, vcenter server 6.5 upgrade successfully so we we chose we have chosen configuration let me just go back and show you what we have chosen what i'm talking actually this is the selection we we are making here we are saying we need configuration only so it is coming up on point uh, coming up on an estimation like it if you choose this you need to have at least 1.1 uh, 1 gb data so let me go here so it, now you can see the same thing is being set here and based on this the installer is going to look at um, look into the system whether you have this much space available and if you have right permission to do the installation so you can see it is doing you know permission check here you can see permission being checked here so get path permission you can see so it is just doing permission you need to have 
in order to uh, successfully you know upgrade your existing vCenter server into 6.5 again it is checking each and every drive location based on the selection we made how much uh, disk is required and how much disk is free so at the end if you come here you can see it is coming on in conclusion the required disk space is this and found disk space is this so we can say we are pretty much in a good shape to proceed further for our upgrade so installer will make a decision and it will say the you know leave this function uh, vm disk check so if we click next let's see what is there in vim vcs hyphen msi dot log which is windows installer log so it is concluding the same thing in three or four lines saying vm disk check written value one means there was no issue um, with respect to vm disk check so let me go next at this stage we are good to go so you are joining vmware customer experience improvement program it is giving you a nice summary this is what you already uh, you have selected and we are going to get into the upgrade so at this point one thing i would really like to highlight that you uh, you must always take backup of your uh, existing vcenter server so that is what we are also doing here you have to select this i verify that i have backed up this vcenter server machine so you need to take backup in case something goes wrong you need to be in a condition to restore your vcenter server properly so once you select this it will go into the next phase and do the upgrade so that was pretty much about pre-install check phase which is uh, phase one uh, at this point we understand there are two main thing taking place in this phase one when at very early stage uh, installer is doing a pre-check for uh, vcenter 6.5 installation and second when the installer is doing probing and gathering information for the upgrade so at this point installer is set to go into the next phase which is install start phase uh, in next video let's do a deep dive analysis of install start phase thank you